before I say anything, warning for demonstration purposes only, as we are going to try and make a very small amount of nitroglycerin in this video. For our materials, we need 20 milliliters of 98% sulfuric acid, 20 milliliters of 65% or concentrated nitric acid, glycerin, and some ice. I'm going to be putting both of these in the freezer ahead of time to make sure they're as cold as possible. We're going to start this process by putting a 50 milliliter beaker in some ice. As both of these will just have come out of the freezer, uh, start by adding 20 milliliters of sulfuric acid in the beaker here, and then afterwards slowly add 20 milliliters of nitric acid and keep the temperature under 60 degrees. That's what this is right here is a thermometer. Once you're done adding the nitric acid, let it sit for a bit until everything's cooled down really well, and then start adding your glycerin drop by drop. Once you start dripping the glycerin into the solution here, you'll notice that a substance starts forming that has a different light refraction than the solution right here, and that's your nitroglycerin already forming. If you gently swirl this around, most of that should fall to the bottom. Once it falls to the bottom, you'll notice it has somewhat of an oily appearance. Don't forget this is all done with ice around the beaker here to keep it chilled. Once you've added your few drops of glycerin and swirled this around, let it sit for just a couple minutes, and then you'll notice that uh, most of this collects on the bottom on one side here, and you can decant the rest of the solution, which is all acid basically, into baking soda and water. Neutralize all the acids and leave just the nitroglycerin on the bottom here. There may be a small amount of acids left on the bottom, don't worry about it, but use a uh, pipette and suck up the nitroglycerin do next is put a couple of drops or maybe just a single drop on a brick here and I'm going to hit it with a hammer. So before we start I'm going to show you the setup here. Um, I mentioned a 50 milliliter beaker uh, earlier but after looking at how small this is I'm going to go with a 100 milliliter beaker no matter what. So 50 ml is out, 100 ml is in. I have my different solutions of bicarb right here that I'll need throughout the experiment and one sodium bicarb sprayer just in case something happens. We got to dilute some acids quickly and we have our glycerin um, dropper here to pick up the glycerin and drop it in drop wise. So I'm starting by adding the sulfuric acid. I've already added some. I'm adding it slowly so that this cools down as it goes in. I'm now adding the nitric acid very very slowly because this will heat up. I do have a thermometer here I'll be mixing it with and just monitoring the temperature. We're at 58 degrees right now so we're good. Just adding the last bit of nitric acid here. Temperature has been kept good. I've gone very slow. This is almost, uh, I'd say, 20, 25 minutes after it first started. And I've already gone through quite a bit of ice. I had to take some water out, add more ice. It's important to keep that chilled. When you're doing this, don't forget the beaker is heating up, and it's also heating the water around it up so that you'll see the ice forming to it. So mix it like this within the ice itself, which is, of course, renewing the cold water which is surrounding the beaker. Sometimes you might be wondering how dangerous these mixed acids are. There you go. There's a good example. Here's my glycerin. Here's my dropper with the end cut off because the glycerin is so thick. But I'm going to draw some up here now. Just add a couple drops at a time. And I can already see, and I'll show you this, Here, you'll see the oily droplet forming almost immediately. It's clear. Okay. I'll zoom in on this. I'll put one more drop here. You can see those circles in there, which are the formation drops, which is nitroglycerin. At this point, I'm going to gently mix it again. This is all floating on the top. Here's a close-up and you can clearly see the little bits of what looks like a cloudy like substance in there swirled in there. That's nitroglycerin in there. As it was not dropping nicely there, I took a pipette and I slowly but surely, you can see it right there, those cloudy droplets. I took them from here and I took all of them and put them in here. So I'm going to put some of this sodium bicarbon here now it's going to bubble like crazy but the nitroglycerin will remain okay as i do this once this is done i'm going to take a little bit out put it on a piece of paper and hammer it good i have been adding and adding and then taking out what solution i could and adding some more and you can see now it no longer reacts this device here i built for an upcoming project 
on contact explosives, but just to show you how it works because I will be using it for the nitroglycerin. We'll be putting it right there and then dropping a one pound zinc rod on it. Should work. Here's my strip of paper right here and I'll be sucking these little bits up here and Testing the nitroglycerin. Three, two, one. Whoa. There wasn't that much nitroglycerin there, but check it out. It was pretty loud. Thanks for watching.